This is part three of building a track in Blender, then exporting it to Roblox Studio. So for elevation, really all you have to do is just click this curve, press tab to edit, and then see these little dots over here? Click move, then you can just move these up and down. I mean, it's actually hilarious how easy it is. So let's check the elevation that I want to do. Some slight up elevation right here. All I have to do is just click this dot and then move it up. It's crazy. So I want to make a little dip here, just move this dot up, then move this dot up, move this dot down, and boom, we have a little dip here. You can pan the camera around with your scroll wheel button, then press tab to exit edit mode to get a better look. It right, looks good. Now, what if we want to do some banking? Just click your road here, and then press tab. You don't really see anything here. So, what you can do is apply your modifiers. So, I want to apply my mirror modifier, apply my array modifier. Then click these buttons, and you should see this. So after clicking these buttons, then entering edit mode, you'll see that you can closely edit your track now. So if you want to make some banking, what you can do is press Z for wireframe view, then press C for your circle select. Select all of these for banking. Then press um, or not. There's a move button right here. You look for your move tool right here, then you can move this up. This kind of looks wrong. I'm going to press undo. Try to select every vertice in wireframe view. So if you want to select um, all the vertices, you just go to wireframe view by pressing Z and then you just circle select to select everything. Move this up for some banking. Okay. Now, if you want to have a faster select from here to here, you can select a vertice right here, then control click this vertice right here. And it does nothing. So just go back to circle select. And then try to move these up. OK. 
Okay, I have to go back to wireframe view and try to really select everything. All right, looks about right. You can click this arrow right here and then change how much you want to move it. So I'm gonna move it a little bit lower. All right. Then you can individually select these. If you're tired of seeing this arrow so far where you can just press tab, then just apply this modifier. All right, now we can get a much easier editing experience. All right, looks like I have duplicates. So what you want to do is press A, then press M, then press by distance. So that just deletes all the uh, duplicate vertices. So yeah, so now we have our banking and we also have our elevation. Check out this elevation. And if you also want to see the hitboxes, if you're unsure if your banking is good enough, just press edit mode, then go to face, and then triangulate faces. This will show you the exact hitboxes, which will be exported to Roblox. So if you think it looks nasty, then you can go to edit mode. and go to faces turn triangles to quads then just hit subdivide then you can really closely manipulate your hitboxes 